Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I'm here with Robert Vosian of Capitol Records and he's a mastering engineer here and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the problems he had in his room and what we did to fix them. Hello fans. Uh, we, um, uh, we, we, I hired Dennis uh, about two months ago. Uh, we uh because we we, we did uh some uh re remodeling here in my studio i've been here about 20 years and um after the remodel um there was uh there was some changes in, in the acoustic uh properties of the room uh that i was that i was having a hard time with and uh we i i needed to find a solution uh to try to get uh, my room back to to what I was used to and 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 possibly make it better so so I hired Dennis and and, and he came by with with his uh, with his gear uh, his diaphragmatic absorbers and uh, his his diffusers his special uh, carbon treated diffusers and um, I think I think you came by with the uh, with the diffusers first and we put them across the back wall and uh, I immediately heard uh, uh, a, a difference, a, a big difference in the life of the room started to come back, uh, the evenness in the, um, the low end response of the room. Um, I knew we were on the right path. We uh, kept it, I think you, we used the diffusion for a couple of weeks and I got real used to it. Mm -hmm. uh, we started to get dialed in and then you came by, Dennis brought his uh, diaphragmatic absorbers um, and we experimented with uh, bringing two in, four, six, and um, we were able to dial in the room. We ended up having four of them in here. And uh, what that did was redirect the, the, the sound pressure in the room. Uh, basically, uh, it, it takes the room out of the equation where you, you get it with using Dennis's stuff, you can get it where you can dial in your room where you're just hearing the components the speakers um uh, and it, it it really cleans up the sound stage and and actually my the listening area the sweet spot here uh before it used to be a very small sweet spot here in my studio and it was okay because i'm i'm in the sweet spot not the greatest thing uh for the clients now i have a pretty much a 10 foot square area where the frequency response is really consistent where i'm listening and we can go all, all the way back up against these diffusers and it's incredibly smooth and uh and accurate and uh i couldn't be happier it uh, makes my job a lot easier um and uh we're getting great results and this is a common problem. I get calls like this a lot. It, the rear wall in your mixing, mastering, control rooms, it's always an issue. And I gotta say, it's, I think, the largest issue of any one surface of the room. Mm -hmm. The front wall is never that much of an issue. The side walls, uh, it's either absorption or some kind of diffusion or reflective material. Pretty much everybody's used to that. But that rear wall is a big, big, big issue. And it's always an area of high pressure and it's an always an area of concern for diffusion. So with the QRD series of units that uh, Bob has here in the studio, they have our carbon technology inside the diffuser also. So you have a product that does three things in one unit, you know, nice broadband absorption, that low 30 to 50, which is a problem for a lot of uh, rooms. And then you've got the quadratic diffusion. So you get all three things in one product. Then we lived with that for a while. Mm -hmm. Then we decided uh, to go after the low end and yeah. tighten that up a little bit for you. How did that work out? Um, great. Again, it's it. Um, I had a my a, a co engineer in here uh, yesterday. We were doing some more testing, and uh, um, he just said, "Wow, it's it's amazing." I, I feel like um just inside the sound stage and I don't hear the room anymore and I think that's that's the secret is um, 
you know, you're not getting fooled uh, by uh, acoustic issues of the room. You're not, um, you're, it, things get cleaned up. Um, and it's just a matter of finding the right balance. You know, like we, we, you, we brought in some extra uh, diaphragmatic absorbers and, and things got a little too clean. It was nice, but I know for me and my clientele, you know, we need to have a little bit of the room. room. Sure. You know, that's what makes it fun for me. Um, and I'm used to that. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, without using any EQ uh, on the mains, um, you can really dial in. You know, it takes a little time. Uh, but you can really dial in the room. Yeah. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. That's the nice thing about the carbon. It's so predictable and consistent. Mm -hmm. You can put four units in and get, let's call it sound number four. You can put five units in and get sound number five. And they will be different just by that one unit. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to hear that difference. So that predictability and consistency is critical in a room tuning tool. The proof is in the pudding. I, I've, uh, I've had a client come in uh, and do a session with, with the, the new treatment in the room and he just called me back after the session and said, I, I'm just stunned at how good your room sounds. He goes, and, and, and the results we got, I, I just, I'm telling everybody that you know i'm just he was just blown away and um, another client of mine i just did a really nice uh uh urban hip-hop record and and uh you know the low end was was pumping and man it was but it was clear as a bell i mean yeah. really punchy and you know and 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 you know the producers over the moon about that the results we got yeah uh so that's a good start yeah you know that's the i'm about you know pleasing my clientele absolutely and uh that's what you got to do Absolutely. to survive so and uh the rap guys really like my carbon mm -hmm. <laughs> they like it because they can manage low end yeah they've never yep. been able to do that before mm -hmm. it's all over the place as right. it always is right but with the carbon technology you kind of can wrestle it yep a little bit and throw a lasso around it and hold it down and yeah. move it around get it out of your way if you have to right you know and that's what we did here by uh, equalizing the pressure on both sides of the uh, council mm -hmm. and that's a common position all you out there that are listening Th there's a high pressure area usually on both sides of the council and the rear wall that's usually the areas that uh, most people end up putting some sort of technology mm -hmm. you know for the low end so great well thank you very very much Thank you, Dennis. It's been a great journey. <laughs> I hope we can do another project yeah. together. Yeah. It'll be great I fun. I think so, yeah. yeah.